This guy trolls me. He just, he loves me. Yo ho ho sha. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got a booster box of the One Piece card game set to Paramount War. I think it's called Paramount War. Anyway, this is my weekly Shrippum story time. I'm back from Japan and I have so many stories to tell. So I'm gonna just tell stories while I open set two of the One Piece card game and hopefully find some really good looking cards because there's some great looking cards in the set. And if you guys like this stuff, you wanna see more, hit that subscription button. If you don't, it's fine. It's just not as cool as if you did. But anyway, let's get into this story. So I was in Japan. I went to Japan because I wanted to be the first one to open One Piece set two. And I think I was actually. I think I got my video out first. Didn't make that much of a difference, but it was fun to go on an adventure to open One Piece cards. And I also kind of had a little bit of a secondary secret pirate mission that I was on there. Um, I can't speak too much about it, but it went really well. I also haven't opened all of the, um, the box toppers. I think that there's some box toppers that I haven't seen yet. So I'm just going to open this box topper. And maybe I'll get something that I have not seen yet. And I have seen Swardo. Swardo's, Swardo's been around for sure. All right. So... First thing we gotta do, of course, bless him, a pack, a pack, bless him. So I went to uh, Tokyo on Halloween. I, I said to a friend once upon a time that I was gonna be in Tokyo on Halloween in 2022. And you know, I made it happen, I was there. I've always wanted to be in Tokyo on Halloween and um, I managed to get to Tokyo on Halloween, which was cool. I'm, I'm happy that I got there. It was, it was a unique experience. When I landed, we went straight to um, Konishiki's party he had a little party welcome home party for me it was uh oh look at that kizaru i think this is one of the best looking srs there's some really really great looking srs in this set anyway so yeah Kony had a party for me it was a little bit of a welcome home party since i hadn't been to japan in a couple of years and a bunch of friends were there and we were dressed up and had a little halloween shindig he cooked some food we had a good time dancing and making jokes and um after uh, we went to that, I went back to Akihabara because I was to see, I thought Akihabara would be really cool on Halloween, which to my surprise, it wasn't. It wasn't very interesting. There wasn't really much at all going on there. So I decided to go to Shibuya because there's an Instagram account that shows people getting really lit at Shibuya and having like way too much fun. And I thought maybe I'll have way too much fun in Shibuya. So I went to Shibuya and it was wild. It was crazy. There were so many people dressed up. Everybody was having a good time. All these people were just like grooving out and, and doing fun stuff. And I made a bunch of friends. I had these one piece cards that I made that have these NFC chips inside of them. And they're, they're great friend making tools um, because everybody loves one piece in Japan. So I was able to make a bunch of friends with those. And then um, I, I, I kept running into this guy that was like wearing a Majin Buu outfit. And I ran into him, I, I crossed paths with him like four times. And we were definitely like, you know, giving each other some eyes, like what's up, yo, kind of thing, but never really said anything. And then like the fourth time I walked by him, I was like, all right, dude, I gotta talk to you, man. I'm like, what, what's, what's going on? How are you? Like, where are you from? You know, and we started talking and it turns out actually he has a YouTube channel also. I did a little quick little interview with him, which is on my, uh, I landed in Tokyo in Halloween video, which I posted while I was in Japan. I wanted to post more content, but I, I was just having too much fun. I needed to focus on having fun rather than being on the internet, but I will post some of that stuff eventually. Anyway, this guy's name is Mobby Nerd. You should check out his channel. It's really good. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description of this video, but we talked for a while and we exchanged information and um, yeah, so we actually ended up hanging out a bunch more times, but I'll get to that later on in the story. Um, after walking around Shibuya for like, three hours, maybe uh, four hours. I really had to pee and I was like looking for a place to pee. Apparently you can like pee in any place in Japan. I didn't really know that, but um, you can just go into whatever convenience store and just go pee. But I was like, all right, well, I, I might as well like get a karaoke room. So I got a karaoke room uh, for myself and it was just me and I went uh, I went in, I used, oh, I think this is the Shanks Dawn. Shanks Dawn, yatta. Look at that, so nice. Um, so I went in, I, I bought a karaoke room, which was like really cheap. The dollar's really strong now, so yen are like cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, so I went in, I used the room, I uh, sang one song by myself, I went pee. I gave the girls at the front some treasure and a dawn, and I was carrying around dawns in my pocket. I, this was like, the dawns were like, 
these are oh look at this guy these are like some of the best friend making tools because you can just pull this out of your pocket and say dawn and everybody laughs and it's easy it's so easy to make friends you just make jokes and then you write the number 39 on it and you say thank you and you give it to them and sometimes you say so much and it's just a great friend making tool so the one piece card game helped me make a lot of friends out there anyway as I was getting to the end of my uh, night, I heard some really cool music upstairs and in this one room and I was like, oh, I should go check that out. It sounds really cool. So I went up there and I checked out the music and it was really good. It was like really, really good music. So I asked the kids that were there, I was like, hey, you know, like I'm an American DJ. Can I like spin some tunes? And they're like, oh, do you have an Instagram? So I like showed them my Instagram and they're like, oh, yeah, okay. It seems like, you, uh, you know, do stuff. So um, I got on and I played a set and everybody really liked it. They had a really fun time. A lot of people were dancing. A lot of people like complimented me on my mixing skills and stuff. And I, I'm actually a decent DJ. My brother is a pretty well-known DJ and he's taught me a lot about DJing. But um, Sadi Chan, I also have a story about Sadi Chan, which I'll tell that story eventually. Um, but yeah, so I, I played some music, people liked it, and I made a bunch of friends with these people that were DJing, and that kind of like sketched out the outline of the rest of my trip. Here he is, Magellan, this guy. This guy trolls me, he just, he loves me. He keeps coming after me. There's like nothing I can do to avoid this man. I'm telling you, it's it's unavoidable. There should be one more SR in this box, I think. But, um, or it could be an alt art, actually. But yeah, so I met these DJs and we became friends and I uh, started playing a bunch more music throughout the course of the week and going to all these events. And it's a totally different vibe partying in Japan. You know, it's it's, it's not like, it's more like a hobby, I think, for them. And, and it makes for a very interesting social situation. All right, here's the last one. Oh, bless them. This should be an SR, potentially an alt art leader, I think, but at least an SR. There we go, Nami Swan. And there's our four SRs, our one altar, and the Shanks Dawn. And that also comes in a box. Anyway, I'm going to continue this story. So make sure to tune in next week for the next portion of these boxes. I'm, I got a lot of boxes open, so I have a lot of stories to tell. I'm a dentist. Don't forget to brush your teeth even when you're on your vacation and wear your mouth guard. I didn't wear my mouth guard, and, and, and it was tough. But I'll tell you more about that. I have another idea of why that happened. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.